Today we are going to talk about diastolic murmur of aortic regurgitation. As we have started discussing heart murmurs caused by valvular lesions, and we previously discussed uh, stenosis regurgitation, and then we discussed in detail systolic murmur of aortic regurgitation. So today we are going to discuss aortic uh, diastolic murmur of aortic regurg. In systolic, uh, in systolic stenosis, uh, sorry, in uh, systolic murmur of aortic stenosis, aortic. What happens is that the valve area, the valve area is so small that when the heart pumps, when the left ventricle pumps the blood, it is very difficult for the left ventricle to pump the blood out of the left ventricle into the aorta because the area, the area or the aortic valve is stenosed. If this is the normal area, in stenosis, the area has decreased so much. So murmur occurs because of the jet effects, because of the turbulence that occurs in the aorta. And the, uh, we hear a murmur in systole, when the left ventricle is contracting. In diastole, in diastole, what happens is that the valve become incompetent. The valve become incompetent. Sorry for the spelling, but what uh, incompetence means that normally this valve, normally the aortic valve should allow the blood to move from the left ventricle into the aorta, but it should not allow blood to move back from the aorta into the left ventricle. The valve, the aortic valve is like this, for example, it should allow the blood to move in the, to the aorta in systole, but will close, but will close when the blood is coming back normally. Once the aortic regurgitation occurs, and aortic regurgitation basically occurs due to the incompetence of the valve. When the valve becomes incompetent, the, the movement of blood starts even in diastole. Now the valve cannot stop the movement of blood that is coming from the aorta into the left ventricle. And blood starts moving back from the aorta into the left ventricle and the valve is like this. It will allow the blood. It is incompetent and it is known as aortic regurgitation. So <clears throat> normally this valve, this aortic valve, it should allow blood to move from the left ventricle into the aorta. But it will not allow blood from the aorta to come back into the left ventricle. When the valve becomes incompetent, it allows the blood to move from the high pressure aorta to move into the low pressure uh, left ventricle during diastole during diastole then it is called aortic regurg and uh, the murmur that uh, we hear or the murmur produced due to the incompetence of the aortic valve is called diastolic murmur of aortic regurgitation now this diastolic murmur of aortic regurgitation it is basically an early diastolic murmur because it starts as soon as the left ventricle enters the diastole as soon as the left ventricle st uh, re starts relaxing the pressure in the aorta is high because the, the blood in the aorta is under high pressure the left ventricle contracts very forcefully and the force of the left ventricle is uh, transmitted into the aorta so the pressure the, the blood in the aorta is in under high pressure now if there is a small problem with the valve it will not be able to stop that movement of blood from the aorta into the left ventricle and as soon as the pressure in the left ventricle decreases the blood will start moving back into the left ventricle it will produce a sound which is known as murmur and this will be in the early diastole so that's why it is called early diastole murmur. Now this murmur is very high pitch. This murmur is basically high pitch. It is also blowing in quality. It is also blowing in quality. Now uh, next time when we discuss the murmur of mitral regurg, we will see that the, mu the murmur of mitral regurg is also high pitch and, and blowing. But that will not be early diastolic murmur, rather it will be a mid diastolic murmur. So what basically causes um, uh, aortic uh, incompetence that basically leads to aortic regurgitation. So there are a lot of conditions which will cause incompetence of the aortic valve like rheumatic fever, rheumatoid arthritis, infective endocarditis, similarly some uh, connective tissue diseases like Marfan's, etc, etc. Now there are a lot of conditions. We are discussing these things just from physiology point of view and we just want to uh, discuss that the murmur in the aortic uh, valve incompetence occurs uh, due to aortic regurgitation because the blood moves back in diastole and it is a diastolic murmur, it is an early diastolic murmur, it is high pitched, it is blowing in quality. When we discuss these things in medicine and pathology, we will discuss in detail of all the causes. We will also see that how we basically diagnose this clinically, what are other signs associated with aortic regurgitations and what can we see on echo to diagnose the uh, aortic regurgitation. For now, just understand that the murmur of aortic regurgitation is diastolic, it's early diastolic, it's high pitched, it's blowing and it's because the valve is incompetent due to some reasons like rheumatic fever, like rheumatoid arthritis, like infective endocarditis or due to damage of the papillary muscles or uh, due to Marfan's disease or uh, sorry uh, the papillary muscle damage will not uh, lead to any uh, problem with the aortic valve rather it will uh, cause problem uh, with the uh, mi uh, mitral valve so this is all this is just an introduction about the uh, what the aortic regurgitation murmur is and what are its qualities thanks a lot for watching the video